Greetings, Happy New Year, and welcome to this first episode of Happenings at 2715 in 2019. My name is Kurt Gibson, and over the next few episodes of Happenings, we're going to spend some time explaining some of the changes coming to the high school sports landscape in Illinois over the next few years. Changes in classifying schools, using a two-year cycle for classification, and new bylaws, including a major change regarding the high school football regular season, are just some of the topics we'll be exploring over the next month. Today's episode will focus on the new two-year classification cycle that will go into effect with the 2019-2020 school year. The two-year classification cycle was a major part of the reforms that came from an ad hoc committee formed by the IHSA Board of Directors during the 2017-18 school year. The committee was charged with examining classification, the waiver process, and the success factor, and ultimately they made a series of recommendations that were approved by the IHSA Board of Directors. In short, the recommendations worked together to create a new approach to classifying schools in certain IHSA state series tournaments. At the heart of the changes is the creation of a two-year classification cycle, and in each two-year period, enrollment ranges, or in other words, the classification cutoffs, will be established for each sport and activity program and remain static for the cycle. Member schools will be assigned to classes within those sports and activities in which they will participate based on an enrollment number that is the average of its enrollment over the two previous school years. So for the 2019 through 2021 cycle, the enrollments for the 2017-18 school year and the 2018-19 school year will be averaged. Schools will then be assigned to classes and remain in those classes for the duration of the cycle. As we'll discuss in another episode, football will continue to be classified at the end of its regular season for both years of the first two-year period, but will transition to being included in the two-year cycle beginning with the 2021 2022 school year. Another part of the changes includes the calculation of enrollment cutoffs for many multi-class sports. The changes will create identical cutoffs across boys and girls basketball, baseball, softball, and girls volleyball. The cutoffs will be based on the field from the smallest four-class sport, which for the first cycle is softball. Using the sport with the smallest participation will ensure that a full field is assigned to each sectional within each tournament. The formula then places the smallest 27.5% of the schools in Class 1A, the next smallest 27.5% in Class 2A, the next smallest 22.5% in Class 3A, and the remaining 22.5% of schools in Class 4A. Boys and girls soccer will also use the same cutoffs as these four class sports, with the two highest enrollment cutoffs in soccer matching the two highest in the four class sports, which will make the Class 1A soccer enrollment cutoff where the Class 2A cutoff is in the four class sports. Having consistent cutoffs across these multiple class sports will allow the programs at member schools to be in the same class, although there could be some instances at non-boundary schools where a program could be in a different class if the program is affected by the multiplier or success adjustment. For the first two-year cycle, the classifications for four class sports will be as follows. Class 1A will be schools between 1 and 299 students. Class 2A will be 299 up to 697 students. Class 3A will be 697 students to 1,635. And then Class 4A will be those schools larger than 1,635 students. For soccer, Class 1A will be from 1 to 697 students. Class 2A, 
697 to 1,635 students, and Class 3A will be those schools larger than 1,635 students. Changes are also then being made for programs subject to the multiplier and success adjustment. For non boundary schools, past success in the IHSA State Series will be measured over a two-year period instead of the four-year period that's currently being used. In addition, small changes have been made to formulas that determine how much past success causes the 1.65 multiplier or the success adjustment to go into effect. In the end, the changes are designed to accomplish three major goals that should benefit all member schools. First, having fixed enrollments over the two-year period will bring greater stability to schools when it comes to scheduling, particularly since schools will be in the same class for the duration of a two-year cycle. Second, by using a two-year cycle that is based on using fixed enrollment cutoffs, IHSA staff will be able to release enrollment numbers and classifications on a rolling basis the year before the start of a new cycle. This will also help schools know their classification more in advance than in the current system. And third, using a two-year window for performance in determining whether or not the multiplier or success adjustment will be assigned to non-boundary school programs will better reflect the current status of those programs than the current system does. These changes will offer an entirely new way for classification to be determined and implemented in Illinois. The opportunity to bring more stability to this process should be a benefit to all member schools. In our next episode, we'll examine the change coming to high school football regular season scheduling beginning in 2021. Thanks again for joining us for this episode of Happenings at 2715. On behalf of our entire production team, we appreciate your support and we look forward to meeting you again real soon over these same airwaves. Until then, support your local high school by attending one of its events.